Greetings everyone. This is an earthquake watch for December 12 through to December 15. We haven't had too much as far as seismic events the last three days. It's been fairly quiet. I'm expecting during the watch period there is a potential of an earthquake around about 6.8 in magnitude. The GOES X-ray flux monitor is fairly inactive and we're just starting to see some signs of life now. The bands have started to move into the active region and it seems to be that we're just starting to see some effects although it's very very quiet. Okay we're looking at the solar monitor 193 angstrom and this fairly extensive coronal hole which sits in the southern hemisphere uh, 9 to 18 degrees south latitude and it also shows up in the 171 angstrom as a fairly powerful coronal hole quite sizable and quite deep. Now this is directly above and adjacent to the um, magnetic filaments um, eruption area and we see a scarring effect left on the solar corona but strangely enough this region is very un, um, inactive and I'm not really sure if we're going to be receiving any events at all um, from the spectacular magnetic eruption uh, feature um, but the coronal hole above looks to be the main area of concern. Okay we'll have a quick look at the SDO 193 angstrom and the solar corona is extremely quiet at the moment. The regions that should be showing activity um, are pretty much dormant or very very quiet. But we've got two regions that we're looking at and the first region is above and we can see some swirling effects and the SEO satellite shake quite violently and it appears that the coronal hole in this region may have affected the satellite in, in a, such a way. Um, it does seem to be quite powerful event um, up above. I will map this region on Google Earth. I'm not sure if we're going to be receiving a large event in this region but it may be worth uh, keeping an eye on for the next two days. The Cayman Island region and going down to the Caribbean Sea it appears that that movement on the Sun appears to be quite symmetric to this region so we may have a, a, an earthquake in this region or perhaps a volcano um, erupt in and around the uh, lower reaches towards Panama. And Panama have received extensive amount of flooding over the last week or so so that could mean a, a lot of pressure on the seafloor in this region so perhaps there may be an event in this um, area and I'll put a small watch on this. We'll go back to the SEO again and we'll have a look at the very large coronal hole which is featuring uh, south 9 to 18 degrees and here it is right here. Now this is a, a very powerful and very large uh, coronal hole mainly because the about eight days ago the initial hole on the stereo behind showed a very significant um, violent eruption of some sort, perhaps a comet, I'm not really sure how it um, manifested itself, but um, it's actually reappeared in the same sort of shape as it's passing us um, earth facing, so that represents a very big danger for a large earthquake I feel. And there's also a reaction in behind this active region which may be um, labelled a sunspot perhaps in the next 24 hours. So there is something going on in behind which further supports this coronal hole. Now the best mapped area for this coronal hole seems to fit um, ideally with the Vanuatu trench which extends down towards Loyalty Islands and up to Fiji and it is fairly circular so this looks to me that this entire region may be affected by um, a violent earthquake um, around 6.8 in magnitude and that will probably be the, the main area that I'm focusing on. The second area would be for southern Peru and we've had some precursor events um, in Bolivia and a few in, in Peru also over the last few weeks and there are an extensive amount of volcanoes um, just up on the edge and this is the um, area above Chile so there may be an event in this region um, that'll be my second choice. My third area of concern is the uh, mid-Atlantic ridge and there is a volcano, the Ascension uh, volcano, which is located in this region. And it seems to be a fairly active region, although we haven't had too many in this region for a while. There is a possibility that we may receive an earthquake along this ridge in the um, ocean region, um, very close to the volcano. And there is a symmetry with this because this feature, this geological feature underneath, seems to fit the magnetic filament and the scar left on the solar corona and this extends into Namibia and Namibia doesn't really get much earthquakes I don't think they've had any so 
I just feel as if that feature may actually be this center portion of the ocean um, up in inside the uh, I think it's the South Antarctic ridge and my final area at risk would be around the Mauritius Islands now there is a very significant earth uh, volcano uh, that's situated here and um, it's been fairly active in Reunion Island so there is a, a feature here that's not quite symmetrical but we can see a little scarring effect which looks similar to the magnetic filament so that will be my four areas at risk um, I think the um, Vanuatu region will be the most likely of the four but the other three are possibilities so that's my earthquake watch for this week thanks for watching